All right, we're out here with uh, Troy Slugger Snyder and his Sea-Doo team in the Sea-Doo Bounty Update. And this is the first time I've actually got to do this with you. You went one, one, one in your motos today. And wow, well, you won one and two in your motos. And it, it really was impressive to watch what you did there. Were you doing the math a little bit in your head? It looked like you maybe were kind of holding back and weren't pushing too hard. Were you just making sure that you got this overall in this class? Yeah, yeah, all I had to get was a fourth. Um, in order to get the overall, so we came out at the red flag, we came out second in the whole shot, and um, I felt I could have ran that Yamaha down, but there was no sense in uh, getting myself spit off, so, you know, I just ran my RXBX uh, c and uh, got a second place finish and took the overall for the day. And that's not it taking anything away from Ryan Hardwick, the mountain motorsports rider, was running well up front. But you guys, the nice thing was there was a battle. All, everybody up top flooded you. Everybody was kind of going at it. It changed places. Uh, it was a flat water out here, but it seemed to me that when the wind came up, it chopped a little bit. Was that uh, any, did that, did that affect the handling at all? No, this, this, the RXPX, the 2012 c it, it cuts right through the chop. Um, you don't have that problem, really, when this kind of water here, it just goes right through it like butter. Now, elevation was an issue for most teams. And I talked to Boda Priest, I know he's been tuning your boat. I got to watch him on Friday doing start after start after start. Change the prop, I'm not sure he did some ignition stuff. How much time did you guys spend this weekend tuning this boat? We spent a day and a half, went through nine, nine props before we got the, 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 the right one in here. So obviously we pulled uh, two out of the three hole shots this weekend. So uh, obviously Boda Priest and Neptune Racing definitely got my prop right this weekend. I say this all the time, you know, I talk about the boat and stuff, but the truth is the rider has a lot to do with it, too. If you're not making the good corners, if you're not physically ready to do it, and I made a joke when I saw you earlier, I said, you look like you're really in good shape. You've been training a little bit harder this year. Yeah, I got a, a good friend at home, Jimmy Stratton. Um, he, he trains me uh, four days a week, and uh, we've been really, really hitting it hard uh, here lately, and uh, a lot of treadmill, a lot of running, a lot of, uh, a lot of TRX training, and we... Now it's a long trip out west here. Now we got three weeks off to go back to Colonial Beach, Virginia. Uh, are you guys going to take a little bit of time? Are you going right back to testing? We are going to sea level, which you're used to, but are you going to take some time to test? Uh, yeah, we'll go straight home. Um, actually, the, the head will come off this. We'll put new valves in it because um, it's got four rounds on it now. So we'll uh, take the motor part, go through it, and then put it back together, and we'll go to Colonial Beach. And we've been there before, so that's sea level. So it's pretty much the package we already know. Now, big push, three to go, and we talked about Colonial Beach. Now, that is ocean, but it really isn't when it gets way up in there with the brackish water. How will that affect the race? Um, really, last year, it didn't really affect much. It was pretty much the same because it's pretty close to Florida water. You know, the elevation is the same. Uh, the temperature is kind of the same to Florida, so we really don't have no problems there. Not like we had here. This was, you know, we were, we were eight mile an hour off here this weekend. You know, we, we got a lot of it back, but we still didn't get back to where we were. Right. We were I gotta think that's fun racing for you guys, though. I mean, it's, it's all about there's some changes you make. You rely on your mechanical out. Oh, yeah, yeah this, this is a tuner's race here in Reno. And that's why, you know, Boda Breeze is the best in the business. Well, you know, I'm gonna let you finish this up by thanking the folks that make it happen. We got some company with us here today. Well, thank everybody. Yeah, yeah, I thank my son, Tori, and uh, my, my wife, Jennifer. Uh, of course, Boda Breeze, you heard me say it many times. Um, I like to thank Reno Racing and, and Dave Mammoth. Uh, you know, Bo uses all Reno products uh, to make this thing go fast. Um, Slippery wetsuits also helps me out quite a bit, and then Snyder Bill. All right, for the Sea-Doo Bounty, I'm David Nisley with Troy Slugger Snyder, finished number one in that stock class today.